it's time to take the uh, small dock out, the one that we started with, so that we just have uh, our nice dock remaining. <laughs> have your proper boots on for the muck. disappointing news I know uh, you know we were just in the midst of waiting for our permit and uh, we got not the not not the information or not the news that we were hoping for um, turns out there is currently a study in place and uh, funny enough we did receive some information about it in the mail um, didn't think that it would apply to us uh, but it most definitely does so um, I guess a couple years ago the municipality hired this engineering firm to study not just this area but everywhere in the municipality which is a massive geographic area that includes a whole bunch of lakes and rivers um, the idea was to to take scans um, like basically lidar scans of all these areas and then determine flood plains and paths and it's all around essentially ensuring that any new buildings um, are either you know not placed in areas where they're absolutely vulnerable and for other areas where they are close to these, you know, vulnerable areas, that they are built correctly and properly, so that they're not um, they're not at risk to damage from flooding and anything like that. So 
a little disappointing, but at the same time, we're, we're happy to, to have this information in order to ensure that our house doesn't wash away. So a um, little more detail on that. The idea is this first study just simply declared the whole area a floodplain. That was like round one, phase one. Um, that completed last fall, and again, like I say, that's when they put the restrictions in place. The current uh, phase of the study, which is at present underway, um, is basically looking at in more detail and with some boots on the ground uh, to determine within that general floodplain area what areas uh, that the building restrictions can be lifted. Um, so we uh, hopefully will qualify for that. We've been given cautious optimism from the uh, from from the municipality, like the building planner, only in that they just simply can't give us a definite thumbs up until they get the data. So what we were told is that our elevation probably should be okay, but probably, you know, as we say, close is good for horseshoes and hand grenades. So it, they tried to work things around using, you know, justification for building with the existing farmhouse and things like that. But ultimately it came to, we just don't have the data yet and we can't give you a definitive answer as to how high your, your pilings need to be. Again, like we've explained before, we're doing a, uh, it's called a pier and beam foundation. So there are spread footings that are poured in the basement, right? The basement, the hole we dig. And then piers are erected on those footings. Then your beams go across and then the joists and you build your house up from there. But precisely how high it needs to be is going to be determined by the results of this study. And the results of the study, um, again, the study concludes in the fall. The results, I think, are given to council and the municipality around Marchish. And that means that, um, assuming that we're given our green light, which we're still, fingers crossed, and hoping yeah. will go our way, um, won't come, like, we won't be able to start to build until April, May, when, they, when the frost recedes. So a year from now? Yeah, yeah, give or take. Roughly, yeah. All intents and purpose. Um, so, definitely a, uh, a climate changey thing. Um, I want to say, uh, you know, having, having a much slower paced lifestyle that we do now and having now been here for a little over two years, even in that short amount of time, contrasting the weather and the things that we've observed with my experiences uh, growing up here, you know, I moved down south when I was 21, but for 21 years I lived up here all year round and saw many, many, many winters and I can say occasionally there have been warm days like freakishly warm days i always talk about uh, a christmas uh, where we rode our bikes and i think it was about 12 degrees celsius but the frequency and the severity it is very hard to ignore um you know 24 degrees we had consistently for about two or three days in april which i never personally witnessed i've had some warm springs but not like that and now in may we're currently in the midst of a fire ban. It's rained twice in about 40 some days. And for a good streak of, of the, you know, maybe two thirds into May, it was 30 degrees or more, 30 to 32 degrees Celsius. And that again, absolutely bananas. Never, never seen that previously. So this is what it is. You know, that farmhouse stood for 136 years. It showed no sign of ever having been inundated by water. Um, from what I can tell, even talking to our neighbor across the river, uh, he saw, I think it was in 2013, there was a, a flash flood, like a just heavy rain that came over a 24 hour period. And it brought the water up just shy of a foot um, from below the bridge. So that definitely would have ran our bank and then came right up to the bank where those pine trees are growing in a row. Um, still, I don't think would threaten our building site. Um, a lot more complication around that because I believe his farm, the way he explained it to me, is a floodplain. So it will eventually get up high enough to run his bank before it would get any higher on our property. And then it flows across his property out this creek way down the road um, into this kind of no man's swampy land behind the, uh, the sawmill. So I really don't think it's an issue, which is why the municipality is giving us kind of positive vibes. Uh, but again, got to complete the study, got to get the information, and in any case, if they're thinking of like once in 500 year floods, we sure don't want to be, you know, six, six inches shy or a foot shy of being above the water as opposed to below it, right? Um, I know of lots of people that live on rivers 
that don't have any controls like dams and that like we have um, and those rivers can rise as much as 25 feet with you know the right conditions like there was a bunch of flooding in the Ottawa area about I want to say four or five years ago now and that was all of the result of very little snow over the winter which resulted in a very deep frost and then all this rain and melt came in the spring and the water, the ground being still frozen was just not able to absorb anything. So it just ran over land and flooded out people's basements, houses, like up to their, almost up to their living room windows, stuff like that. So again, disappointing for sure, but we're happy to, you know, kind of take our time and, and um, you know, get it right, I, let me say. Don't want to be yeah. below the water. I don't want a submarine. We, yeah. want, we want a house. So yeah, and we've, we've had some time to sit with this. So, um, you know, we don't want to pretend that we weren't extremely disappointed when we were told that we have to wait, wait a year. It was a big shock and uh, we really took our time waiting to even do this video to communicate with you guys because um, we really didn't know what we were going to do. We didn't even know if we wanted to stay here at first. Um, but we do. We love it here. This is a dream come true. And I think, you know, we, we, we're not sharing these things to scare people about climate change. The truth is it's just the world we're living in and there are solutions and there are people doing studies to help us. And so I just think, you know, we're going to take this punch and we're going to continue to work on our property this summer. And as we've had a time to kind of sit and reflect on all of this, we have realized that, at least for me, there is a sense of relief because it really does feel like uh, we hit the ground running when we came here and um, we're just putting pressure on ourselves to do the next job and the next job and the next job. And so there are some things that we've realized that we want to change and this gives us that opportunity while we are waiting for to find out whether or not we can build our house. So. Um, we are going to continue to post. It's We're really passionate about sharing our story just in that um, this was a dream that we honestly wouldn't have thought was possible unless we had people to watch that uh, had a similar dream to ours. And so we want to do that for the people that we love and um, just be honest about it, the good and the bad, and just continue to, you know, take it one day at a time. But... Uh, Likely this summer, we're going to be posting a little bit less. It's probably going to look like every other week, I imagine. We do have some big jobs that we want to do, uh, so we'll see how that goes. But just to give you the heads up that, you know, uh, we tried to post every week and that's likely not going to be the case this summer. It also gives us the chance to spend more time with our friends and family. We just had my, my baby brother up and... Um, you know, we just have to look at this situation as an opportunity instead of uh, a disappointment. Yeah, it's not hard to make lemons, uh, lemonade out of the lemons, really. It's, you know, there's worse things than being forced to slow down a little bit. So, yeah. Yeah, and, and, and like Kim said, we are looking forward. There's a couple of things that we wanted to do that were kind of more nice to haves, um, but we really, in our minds, couldn't justify them ahead of, of working on the foundation and getting the house framed up. So now it's like, hey. Yeah. Right? So, no so, oh, there's a mosquito. Oh, just the one? <laughs> um, so, uh, yeah, we're, we're actually feeling really good about this now. Now that, you know, the news is settled and we are used to this new change, we're being forced to slow down and we are willing to, yeah. <laughs> we're willing to do that. Yeah. And, um, yeah. Sure and we do have some cool projects that we're going to be doing this summer, but, uh, yeah, I guess you'll just have to wait and see as we go. Your first. So, thanks for supporting us, guys, and thanks for watching and, and cheering us on. We really appreciate it. It really does make a big difference, and uh, yep. yeah, well, stay tuned. We ain't going anywhere. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs>